In order to discuss that story further, I'm joined by Tim Anderson. He is a writer and the director of Center for Counter-Hegemonic Studies, joining us out of Sydney. Uh, thank you for joining the program. So my first question is, how do you see the current rising crisis in Afghanistan and, uh, of course, the territorial gains that Taliban is achieving here? Thank you. Well, it's mainly what we would expect of the collapse of a 20-year occupation, an illegal and criminal occupation, let's remember, with most of the members of that occupation now calling themselves wrongly the international community or the global community. Uh, it's a collapse of a part by NATO and led by the US, and it was really to be expected. If anything, it reminds me of the collapse of the puppet regime in South Vietnam back in 1975. Mm -hmm. And uh, what do you think about this joint statement, its significance and its possible impact? I don't think it'll have much impact. It's really, if you look at it closely, it's the NATO members who participated in the illegal occupation of Afghanistan for two decades. Now, apparently, uh, Erdogan's Turkey, uh, which is a member of NATO, of course, is pretending to manage a, a, transition, a transition of some sort while they, they supposedly maintain control of uh, Kabul airport. But really, this just... Uh, Erdogan setting up a Syrian national army and he's now seems like he's threatening to set up an Afghan national army too. It's bizarre and it's an intervention by NATO in this region which has never had any basis in international norms, international law. Mm -hmm. And uh, what do you think about the future of the peace talks that are going on on and off in Qatar between the Afghan government and Taliban? Well, I think they were important. They were necessary to secure the withdrawal of the occupation forces, particularly to break the US will or to maintain its occupation in that area, even though there are some other strategic reasons why the US would like to be there and probably wants to maintain some sort of irregular forces, if not its own. Um, so I think the Qatar talks had some purpose, but now there's a, a question of getting used to the fact that Afghan people, and it doesn't matter what you or I think of the Taliban, they are Afghan people uh, trying to liberate their own country, and that's a principle well recognized in international law. And really, what the, uh, the NATO partners say you know, as they leave, um, saying, you know, please don't let the door bang on our, our behinds when we leave Afghanistan. Tim Anderson, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, he is a writer and the director of Center for Counter-Hegemonic Studies joining us out of Sydney. Thank you so much.